On the four, more coverage now on Joran van der Schloot and the breaking news about his extradition. U.S. Marshals are set to bring him, the main suspect in the disappearance of Natalie Holloway, to Alabama tomorrow. The FBI plane used to pick up van der Schloot just landed in Peru within the hour. Oliviana Calmes is live in studio with the timeline on what happens next year, Oliviana. Yeah, Morgan, Sarah, we know right now agents from the FBI are in Peru waiting to pick up Joran van der Schloot, the man accused in the disappearance of Mountain Brook teen Natalie Holloway during her senior trip in 2005. Bender Schloot is being brought to the U.S. to face criminal charges here in Alabama of extortion and federal wire fraud, and he's expected to arrive on U.S. soil tomorrow. Bender Schloot arrived Saturday to a corrections facility in Lima, the capital, after a trip from another prison where he was serving a 28-year sentence for the murder of a Peruvian woman, woman from back in 2010. And while he is a key suspect in Holloway, Holloway's disappearance. Vandersloot is now only facing those charges of extortion and wire fraud. Prosecutors say he tried to extort the Holloway family in 2010, allegedly promising to lead them to Holloway's body in exchange for hundreds of thousands of dollars. And we spoke with former United States Attorney Jay Town a week ago. He tells us the U.S. will have 70 days to bring the case to trial once Vandersloot is in the U.S. She will see Joran Vandersloot in an American courtroom in the great state of Alabama here uh, not too long from now. He is going to finish out his sentence in Peru, um, but then what waits for him is, I'm sure, a lengthy sentence in a United States federal prison, and he still has hell to look forward to after that. Well, like you just heard, even if found guilty, Vandersloot will not stay in Alabama for a while yet. He'll finish out his prison sentence in Peru. Now, Natalie Holloway's mother, Beth, released a statement when the news of the extradition came out, saying she had 18 years with Natalie. Now she's been without her daughter for 18 years. She said the persistence of many is now paying off, and together they're getting justice for Natalie. Liviana Helmes, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.